Welcome back everybody. Today we talk book one 2021. That was last October and I went there to look for more group one horses. Eventually I made a buy list of 19 yearlings, 13 colts, 6 fillies. They went for about 4.4 million and 4 of them were not sold. So the average price was about 240-250k and the sales average was just about the same. So here is the list. And I'm going to show you the videos of each of these horses and you can um, comment and, and, and say which ones you like and let's see which ones you predict will be the next group one winner the next Luxembourg the next St. Mark's Basilica no speak Alexander uh, Mother Earth so for you guys who have been following me for years you know that I've advised clients to buy these 13 group one winners of 25 group one races since 2010 and since just 2017 i have selected japan cape of good hope technician mogul domestic spending mother earth saint mark's basilica pretty gorgeous no speak alexander and luxembourg as we speak on the 30th of march 2022 luxembourg is a third favorite for the 2000 guineas and a quite short priced favorite for the 2022 derby there is no question that my system in finding group one winners is working and it's working a charm and let me show you what my system consists of i call it the trinity in yearling selection this is how i find group one horses I have a mathematical system called PAR, which stands for Projected Ability Rating. Now that is the projected ability rating of a yearling at a yearling sales. Not a two-year-old, not a three-year-old, a yearling at a yearling sales. I look at the page and I can attach a mathematical value to that genealogy page and that lifts out horses that has a much better chance much better chance to become black type a group horse and the holy grail of becoming a sire if you can select yearling colts that become sires you will make huge amounts of profits for your investors and then it doesn't become a gamble it becomes a rock solid investment of the best possible kind an unfluctuating investment, a generational wealth uh, weapon in your hand, a generational wealth tool to use at any sale, at any yearling sale. And I'm not saying a tiny little sale somewhere in Argentina is going to uh, get you uh, a group one winning horse at Ascot. No, that is ridiculous. I'm talking at the top sales, where the top horses are, amongst the top bidders, amongst the top experts. This is where I get these results. Amongst the top boys, like playing sport at the very top level. This is what we're talking about. Pa is supported by the five point for the physical. When I say the five point for the physical, I mean every one of these group one horses fitted into a profile, fitted through a cutout of what they should look like, more or less. And if they don't fit into that profile, they don't go on my buy list. Now no system is foolproof, no system can't be beaten but this system par and five points for the physical produces these results published on my twitter page irrefutable proof watch my video on how to become a leading racehorse owner on this channel and i made that video almost 18 months ago and see how it proved to be absolutely true once again in 2021 and this is why i could no doubt that my 2021 book one list will produce the same or better results 
And then thirdly, the trinity in healing selection is completed by the personal connection with the horse. So, talking about sires, and this is where you make your generational wealth money, you have to find yearling colts at yearling sales where you can bid against the public and buy these horses. Then you can generate these kind of results. And I have found five sires since 2017. And the sixth one is well on its way. His name is Luxembourg. Now, the five sires, Technician, Japan, Bangkok, Mogul, and St. Mark's Basilica, have just entered stud. And their stud fee in the right-hand column there, and projected income, is a combined figure of 86,000 per cover. I just added 3,000, 12,000, 3,000, 3,000, and 65,000 standing at stud fee for each sire and if they cover an average of 150 mares each for 10 years that is an income of 129 million now let's say some of them don't get used anymore and others increase the stud fee it's going to be the same figure of course a horse like japan could well develop into a 50, 60,000, 100,000 uh, sire. Mogul, the same. St. Mark's Basilica could go down to 20,000, but also he could go up to 250,000, which means that 129 million figure can easily become four, five hundred million over the next 10 years. That is why Coolmore is printing money. That's why Coolmore can afford to buy at the sales but Coolmore knows what to buy too and my results as you can see often contain Coolmore horses because our system is pretty much close to each other now watch my twitter video where I explain how close I am to Coolmore's formula and I'm not saying Coolmore selects better than me I'm not saying that So this is the 2001 list, as I've showed you before. Now, one thing I must just say, when I show you the videos of these horses, the real videos, as I saw them at Book One Tarasols, at the sales, videos which I took myself, you will often hear there's audio missing as the horses keep on being, being presented to me. Now, those audio cuts, are where I took out the essentials of what and why I make my decisions on a horse. So I obviously took those out because therein lays the rub where I talk about the five point for the physical. And obviously I can't advertise that on the internet. That'll be unfair, wouldn't it? So thank you for joining me. Enjoy the videos and please join this journey because I want to show you how these 19 horses that cost 4.5 million will be worth 20 million by October 2023. That means towards the end of their three year old career. Because by that time, why they will be worth so much? because there will be a group one winning cult in here that became a sire. That's why. Of course, if you look at the group one winners that I selected, there are fillies in there. No Speak Alexander, Pretty Gorgeous, Mother Earth. Now, they can never be sires, but if you put them through a sales ring, you will see that Mother Earth costs 150, Pretty Gorgeous 500, no speak Alexander not sold. So you're looking at a combined figure. I think no speak Alexander had a a, a target on her back of a hundred K, something like that. So if you say hundred thousand for no speak Alexander, one fifty for uh, Mother Earth, and pretty gorgeous, you're looking at about seven fifty K. You put them three fillies for this sale, and you won't get change for twelve million pounds. So Phillies can also be valuable, make no mistake about it, and I can pick them.
I know how, what a group one fully looks like. It's not hard to find them either. But the generational wealth, the easy money, is with the cults. And if I want to take investors' money, and I say, right, there's 10 million pounds, I'm going to the sales across the board, and I'm starting in Australia, and I'm ending uh, uh, at Tattersalls, then I want to buy Colts because it's quick and easy money. And the Colts will produce 200 uh, foals by the, within f five years of the horse being sold. And the investor receives 200 times 50 or 60,000 pounds every single year. Easy money. But to buy fillies is not a problem. It's the same system. Projected ability rating combined with the five point for the physical and the connection. And there you have it. You will find the group one winners consistently. And I will find group one winners in 20 to, from the 2021 list, just like I found from every other list here. And I want you to join me on this journey, on this exciting journey, to see if all this, this bragging is just hot air, or if it's the holy grail to finding consistent profit in yielding sales. So just to remind you, gaps in the audio, that's where I cut the audio because I cannot tell you what I see in a racehorse. Lastly, please smash that like and subscribe button. It helps and will help this very infantile YouTube channel a lot. And also you can be reminded when the next video is available. Meanwhile, the short videos where I just do quick reviews on the horses as they develop, and especially of the 2020 sales as Luxembourg go free spaces, as Jazz Club go free spaces, as Blue Boat goes free spaces, because I want to select 20 to 30% black types from any list in any way, not just the yearling colts that become sires. There are many other horses that are also doing well on these lists. So thank you for getting this far with me. Without further ado, let me show you the videos of each one of these horses at Book One, Tattersalls 2021. Just the same way I saw them. On the left are the lot numbers 14 to 494, <coughs> and then the price. So some of them are really cheap. For example, the Harry Angel went for just 25,000. Very affordable, really. Let's have a look at these yearlings. So day one, lot 14, this was the Harry Angel filly. Yes, she is. Probably, maybe, I don't know, because of the access they drained. But, is it? The next one is lot 19, also a hairy angel, this time a colt. Now, he has just been named in the last few days, and he's called Glyn Finan, which is a village in Scotland. Let's have a look at him. This is the hairy angel, same place as, from, as Alan Kerr. What's 19? Thank you very much, man. Thank you very much. 
Next one up is lot 43, bought by Mark Johnston for 50,000. He is a king man from high class. What's that? 43. Uh, 43. King man, quite a big horse. Big but not, not, not heavy. Next up was lot 58, the Zoo Star. Zoo Star, very strong horse, big. Um, he looks like a three year old or something like that, this boy. So, yeah, I'll put him Next up was lot 59, the Lope de Vega out of the Galileo Mare Hibiscus. He was not sold. Well, 59, the Lipovega, he's got the right. It's okay in the front. Thank you. Next up is the Justify Cult out of a Galileo mare called our glass. Lot 63, just walk please. This is the Justify out of the non black type Galileo mare. Light horse, good in the front. Good. Feet in the front, otherwise. Um, how is his. Um, how is his. Uh, 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 Why do I think it's Thank you. Next up is the Roaring Lion Philly. Is it 61? 61, the Roaring Lion Philly. She's every. But then she's only a filly and she's bred. And the coffee legs. Very scopy, actually, and nice and light. Next up is lot 161, the showcasing. I really caught a shine to this cult. Um, Really, really wanted uh, my my clients to buy it, but in the end, it was bought very well and very cheaply by the Doyles and the S. He's uh, in training at Richard Hannon, champion trainer. Um, they've named him recently. He's called Great Bedouin, 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 um, which is a uh, village somewhere uh, in the south of England. Great Bedouin. Anyway, have a look at him. I like this horse. I can see him doing great things in the next few months. Lot 161, the showcasing. Yep, just a little walk, please. Put in the front. Oh. That's a way of right. walk. That's an African guy. Clean x rays, clean everything else. So you can see. Everything else is okay otherwise. Well, thank you very much, eh? Next up is a, a horse by Cracksman. I um, haven't seen many of them. Uh, I think he's going to be a bit backward, but a, we're looking at a three-year-old career here. Lots of black type in the... Uh, in the dam. Unfortunately, she's quite an old mare, which a lot of people don't like. Here we have the 413, the cracksman. As you can see, he's got golf. He's medium to high in the, in the back. He um, is fine. So this guy got to be cheap to uh, make somebody happy. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Next up is the Invincible Spirit Philly out of a Lepka Vega mare. Now, I haven't seen many Lepka Vega brood mares, but she's both black type. Let's have a look at her. 269, just a little walk, please. 269. Invincible Spirit, like I think, of lean. Got a coffee in the front there, but I picked up that too. Thank you very much. Next up is the uh, King Man Lot 321. Now I like this horse. Uh, so did other people who went for one. 321, minute. King Man. One Just one last walk, please. Yeah. He's, he's almost. He's almost. If he's. Uh, Anyway. Next up is the main mass filly. Uh, now I've not seen many main masses in my life, but this one I really really like. Unfortunately, at the sales she had a uh, neurological of hind with. This is the 340, the main mass, first time I've seen any one of them. Nerve impingement. Thank you, thank you. Next up is a Lope de Vega, a big horse from Belly Lynch, and he was not sold. 352, another Lope de Vega, similar to the other one, big, not as big. Walks. Okay. He's bigger than horses, horses that I usually put on the list, but. They're both big beasts and they should run. Okay. Next up is a Galileo lot 367 out of a pivotal mare, so a brilliant nick, although the mare is unraced. 367, the Galileo pivotal mare. Uh, Should be okay, this horse. Oh. Is right. I'll go for this lad. This boy, thank you very much. Thank you. Next up is the 379 Dark Angel, the full brother to Batage, no less. 379, Batage, um, good behind, but, uh, off four, ten. Fine, actually. The only thing that could have been better on this horse is his, uh, good moving horse. It should be okay. Next up is the 391, the No Name Never from Crew House. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah. Right, okay. 391, the No Name Never. A bit lower, higher. Um, Come back for this one.
Thank you very much. Now we go to a Dark Angel fully lot 393 out of a Galileo mare. Yeah, just, just up and down. Let's see, what's the lot again? 393. Just walk a little bit. Dark Angel fully. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. She's uh, good in the back. She's. Uh, yeah, yeah, just want to get the sun on her. Good in the back. Um, coffee in the uh, what I like about that is she is extremely athletic this whole was visual. She's quite important. Thank you, thank you very much. Next up is the 4328 Justify fully out of a Galileo mare. These Galileo mares are everywhere now. Let's have a look at her. 432 the Justify. She's uh, not the best horse in the world, but she good coffee. About maybe when she walks is better than when she stands. Thank you, thank you. Next up is the last one on the list, a Camelot, no less. Uh, He's out of a Wooten Bassett mare now. Wooten Bassett uh, is only a young sire himself, so this must be one of the first ones. And she's black type, bold black type. Let's have a look. Not your typical Camelot. Doesn't look anything like uh, Luxembourg, for example. 494, the Camelot, Wooten Bassett. So he's a low, strong thing. The, um That was I saw at uh, Akana that time with for 25 grand. So guys, there you are. Um, 19 horses uh, cost 4.5 million and they have to be worth 20 million amongst themselves. Uh, by October 2023 and that's not very long from now in, in racehorse uh, terms so watch the videos please comment and give me your predictions on which ones are going to be the next St. Mark's Basilica the next Luxembourg the next uh, No Speak Alexander because some of these were not sold just like No Speak Alexander do me a favor and watch the video I made uh, last year in January where I explained how I selected St. Mark's Basilica and how you can become an elite owner if you are a large-scale investor. Until next time, thank you for watching.